Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we've got another LBLA drone. So I've done two on my channel so far and been happy with both of them. So this is the LBLA S169, I believe it is. Let me just double check that. Yeah, the S169. So you get the instruction manual, which is very full, actually. They give you so much information in here. It's wrote in good English. It's a really nice manual. The only thing that in this manual, if you, you it tells you to download an app that's called JJ UFO, JJC UFO Fun. You need to download an app called H Fun. That is the right app for the drone. So in here you get the controller, quad, propeller guards, spare props, screwdriver, and the charging cable. So, let's just have a look at the drone. So, this is the drone. Let's just open it up. So, as you can see, it's got holes in here. Now, you do get in the packet, bear with me one second, these. So, if you don't have, if you don't want to use the prop guards, Wrong way around, I think these just pop in here and you get a set of them. I think it just pushes in a bit harder, but I don't really want to put them in at the minute anyway. So, this is the drone, it runs on a 1S 1000 milliamp hour battery. It's got four brushed motors that are geared, but it's got optical flow, which is the main thing of this drone. So, it does have optical flow, and the optical flow works really nicely. Now, with optical flow drones. You've got to be aware that although they don't drift, they do. You have to be more accurate with your throttle response in the air because they'll go up and down a little bit due to the optical flow and the barometer sensor. But apart from that, thing flies absolutely beautifully. You'll see at the video footage in. I've only got a small bit of video footage, and I apologise for that. The weather's horrendous, so I flew it a little bit outside. But I've also hovered it indoors so you can see how stable the optical flow is. It really is good. The controller I really do like, so it's a bit gimmicky, but it, for me it works better than the other type ones. So you've got two arms that pull down, and this one actually turns on the transmitter. And then these pull down nice and easily, and your phone just sits in here. And it holds my phone really nicely. I've had a problem with phones because it, the switch, the buttons for your on and off get caught on the bottom of the transmitter. It does, doesn't happen on this one. It's got fake antennas. It's got emergency stop. Take off and land, video button, photo button, speed button, return to home button, headless mode, and 3D flips. It looks like it's got an SD card slot in the back, but it isn't an SD card, so don't, don't try and put one in. And it has a fixed pitch camera. Well, I can't make it move if it's meant to anyway, but it does feel like it's fixed pitch. The camera quality, well... If you've watched my channel, you know that I don't really care about the camera quality is not great. It never is on these drones. I'll leave you some images of the video footage and I'll leave you some images of the app so you can see them running um, along the flight speed. Only like 20-30 seconds of each. You'll get to see that the video quality isn't great. But it isn't on any of these drones in my opinion. So I got this from Amazon. I think it's around £56 at the minute. And it flies really, really nicely. I'll leave a link in the description below to the unit itself. So, yes, I do recommend this. I think it flies very similar to the other LBLA drones. I like the optical flow, and you can fly this indoors. Even though it's bigger than what I normally fly indoors, because of the optical flow, you can. The speed settings, what I will say is, on speed 3, when you have it on speed 3, so you've got speed 1, 2 and 3, when it's on 3, it's your rate's too high. And I don't mean to your round just like that, I mean when you're coming round, so if you're coming round for a turn, you're banking into the turn, it's a bit all over the place. It doesn't do it in speed mode 1 and 2, so I'm guessing it's just a little bit sensitive in speed mode 3. So if you get one, be careful of that. On the screen you've got a calibrate button, so when you put the app on, you'll have the button that says calibrate. Um, I press that button 
and I don't know if it made any difference, but it doesn't do any harm to do it because there's no calibration function on the controller. There's also no trims on the controller because it has optical flow. It, it doesn't really, and it didn't really wander to me. It was a little bit, slight little bit, but it's a bit windy today. Inside, you'll see, inside you can probably tell the best because there's no wind off the inside and it doesn't move at all. You'll see me hold the controller next to it and it doesn't move at all. So, it's another good one from LBLA. It's a little bit more expensive than the other two I've done, but I think it's probably worth it for the optical flow underneath. And it, it's certainly a nice little drone. Keep your eye on it because it might go up, it, the price probably will fluctuate on Amazon, it tends to go up and down, you might get it a bit cheaper. But yeah, I recommend this. I don't think it's necessarily a beginner's drone, so, uh, like the other two I did, I think it's maybe a bit more of an intermediate drone because of the way it flies. And it's a bit, it's a bit quicker. So, thanks very much for watching. I'll leave you with the footage. You'll see the video camera's not great, but I don't really care. But you'll see what it's like in the air, and you'll certainly see inside footage is better because you're going to tell there's no wind inside, and you can see how stable and rock solid this thing is. So, thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.